I strongly feel we are what you eat, what we drink is the most important thing. So I do the eating natural food as much as uh, possible and anything come from ground and not the process anything with the heat you see also that the we drink good water that's the two things we have to do we i'm talking about the uh, you are what you eat or what you drink you know but where does the food come from that's uh, from the soil right from nature if we spoil the nature we cannot keep a good health so we have to really pay attention how you we keep raise the uh, proper healthy plants so it's the uh, enzyme is not only for your digestion absorption of the uh, your body you know food but the maintenance of your entire uh, body health through the uh, we call homeostasis see the balancing your body yeah? that's why it's so important not to take too much chemicals, not overeating, and uh, mostly that way. See, this is if you take this uh, capsule, five capsule, uh, about 30 minutes, you feel so hungry already. Yeah? So that's these things are good for digestion, and mainly. So we have to take an enzyme for digestion, and another things for detoxification, and to, you know, to make. Uh, resistant for the uh, like uh, uh, the uh, the bacteria, uh, the virus infections, and the cancers, you know the allergy and the uh, autoimmune system, all kind of things. We have to have this uh, strength. That's the enzyme. This powder, powderized things. This one and the one I have a liquid. The um, one of my scientists are trying to the make a capsule from that, so maybe it's easier to take it. But uh, these capsule, this uh, enzyme, uh, he discovered in the deep mountain of the uh, island of the Kyushu, and uh, he he found probably over one hundred uh, uh, the bacteria, series of bacteria. He uh, cultivate and the large amount of bacteria, then they make this uh, enzyme. So enzyme is the one uh, making from the bacteria itself, not the from material. Eh? So bacteria ones uh, the contains a lot of enzymes, so that the uh, good bacteria and the bad bacteria, how they determine? Bad bacteria contains a lot of uh, strong oxidizing enzymes and the good bacteria to help our human body for health like this kind of products one is contains very strong antioxidant uh, bacteria you know the, uh, the uh, enzyme they have in the their bacteria's body yeah. so you our in intestinal tract we have about uh, our as I said, the 300, 100 uh, trillion bacteria. Yeah? This one producing a lot of enzymes in our intestinal tract, help, helping uh, to maintain our health. Enzyme contains a lot of strong antibacterial, antivirus, anti-cancer, anti-allergy, and anti autoimmune you know the diseases this are all contained so the, as i said before in the future near future or in this century probably medical medicine itself is instead of giving a lot of prescription drug prescription i think a more like a more like a, uh, uh, you know this type of enzyme treatment to the natural heal type of things.